Oh, hi there. It's too far away for you to hear me. Bugs. Come a little closer. So, almost exactly a year ago, I hope it's not too windy for you, but almost exactly a year ago, I left Georgia and I moved to Wisconsin. Uh, actually, the day this comes out is a year from the day that I left Georgia, well, that I left my apartment in Georgia, then I drove to Atlanta, and then from there came to Wisconsin. We made it a trip because I had cats with me and I didn't want them. I didn't want their days in the car to be too long. Oh, no, I came out here for the beautiful sunshine and now there's a cloud. So I thought that I would share with you the lighting's going to be what the lighting's going to be. Um, I thought I would share with you 10 things that I, as someone who spent the last 18 years in Georgia, didn't know about Wisconsin until I got here. When you... There are lots of people around. There are people around. It's like, it's not a lot. Anyway. Number one. Unlike in Georgia, when somebody says, let's get lunch, they mean it. Midwestern nice is very different from Southern hospitality in that it's genuine most of the time. Number two, if you're out in public and you accidentally like bump into someone, instead of saying, excuse me, say, oh, oh, I love it. Oh, didn't see you there. Oh, I'm just gonna scooch past ya. I use that one a lot. Number three, cheese curds are currency. Ask anybody here where the best cheese curds are and you'll get a different answer. Um, and get them at fast food places, sit down restaurants, food trucks, your neighbor Joe's house. Uh, a lot of people swear by the Culver's cheese curds. They're not my favorite. They're good. But uh, there's one place called, well, I don't know. I can give you a ten, top 10 list of my favorite cheese curds. I want some cheese curds. It's just fried cheese, but like way better than mozzarella sticks. What really gets me, uh, it will vary based on the dipping sauce that it comes with. A lot of places, actually a lot of places we've been going to lately gave no dipping sauce and then you have ketchup, which is fine. Um, a lot of places will do ranch. I like the places that'll give you spicy ranch or chipotle ranch. Number four, I think we're on. You can be outside most of the time. In Georgia, nine months out of the year, it was too hot, too humid, or raining. And th there were no other like weather things for nine months. And then like the last week of December, you could go outside and it was fine. And it depends on where in the South you are, but None of them are like this. As a southerner who moved up here, go grocery shopping during the Packers games. Because I, I have no alliance to the Packers, I'm sorry. They're great, I'm sure, but I just, eh. I don't care about many sports teams, but it is a great time to go grocery shopping. Do not go the morning of a Packers game because everybody's at the grocery store getting their like game time snacks. For the seven months out of the year that it's not snowing, they're going to be fixing the snow damage on the roads, so just be prepared for lots of construction traffic. No matter where you go, you're going to run into some. The UP, Upper Peninsula for anybody not familiar, belongs to Wisconsin, or it should. Uh, some people will tell you that it belongs to Michigan, because that's what all the maps say. But why? It doesn't even touch the rest of Michigan. It does touch Wisconsin. But hey, better that it's Michigan than Illinois, am I right? That's, that's number eight. Apparently we all hate Illinois. If you need a map of Wisconsin and you don't have one handy, use your hand. Let's see if I can it on here so you got it's kind of like a a mitten shape 
might be backwards. I'm always really bad about that on camera, but basically like this little divot here, this is Green Bay, and then this is Door County. It goes up here into, into the Great Lake, and then this is like the mitten. And then over here, this is where I am right now, right next to uh, Lake Winnebago. And number 10, possibly my favorite and slightly surprising fact is you're never far from the water, whether it's a lake or a pond or a river or some combination. Like this is about where the Fox River and Lake Winnebago meet. Um, well, one of the places that they meet. I think they make it anyway. What was I saying? Water. <laughs> and just like uh, being outside in Wisconsin, it's way better than the other places. Cause even though it's super flat, and far away from the ocean, which are two things that I don't like. Uh, <laughs> you can be outside because a normal, like, good temperature and humidity level, and I'm not dying right now. But also, it's just really pretty, and there's lots of woods and natural. Na there's lots of woods and national parks, and I'm really worried about this wind, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna have to record this whole thing inside. Do you see how beautiful it is out here? If I have to go inside, I'm gonna be so sad. All right, that's all I've got for you. I do have um, another list on my phone of the things that I needed to know about the Wisconsin winter. I made it at the end of this past winter uh, in May. So I figured I should post it sooner to when winter is coming back, which according to the weather report is any week now. Anywho, I hope you have a wonderful day and get yourself some cheese curds. Uh, like this video if you want to see my Wisconsin winter hacks, tips, things to know as a southerner in the north. I spent, yeah, two-thirds of my life in Georgia, so this was a major change coming up here, um, but I've loved it. It's so nice. Have you been to Wisconsin? You should, you should come visit. Not me specifically, but like one of the parks maybe. All right, that's enough for me. Hopefully it this worked out. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like this video and I will see you soon. Good night, sweet dreams.